everyone, and welcome back to Gamer Bargains. On today's episode, I'm going to show you how to BIOS mod your Polaris cards, which are your RX 460s, 470s, 480s, 560s, 570s, and 580s in Hive OS. So you don't need to do it through Windows and do this ahead of time. It's much easier if you were just to put all the GPUs in your rig and um, do the BIOS mod through uh, Hive OS. It's extremely easy, very effective, and um, it doesn't take a lot of time at all. So let's just dive right into it. So we're in our Hive OS here, right? And this is my farm. Now I'm not gonna actually apply the BIOS mod to mine because I've already done that to my cards. So um, to give you an idea, um, these were getting like 23, 24 mega hash, and um, now they're getting closer to 29. So I could push them a little bit further, but I like keeping the, you know, uh, power consumption down. So I'm pretty happy with that. But so you'll get about four to five mega hash more on every card. So think about that. If that's five cards, that's 25 mega hash. I essentially gained a free GPU in hash power. So that's, it's extremely effective here. So we're gonna go from up here. We have these tabs up here. We're gonna go to uh, overclocking. And then right here, you're gonna have an option to download V BIOS. Now, what you'll have to do is, before you do this, this download vBIOS, you'll want to click um, your minor actions and click stop minor that way and make sure it's not mining at all and it's just sitting idly. And then you're gonna wanna click download vBIOS. And what you'll have to do is, is you'll have to do this on each card. So these are all the card numbers. So we'll just do this on, you know, um, here, let me make sure I'm gonna stop mine right now. So I'll stop my miner. The command was sent. We'll just wait a minute here. All right, miner stopped. Okay, so now we're gonna click download the vBIOS and we'll just pick GPU zero. And then we'll just uh, save it to the farm. Sure, that's fine. Um, these are already BIOS modded, so we'll click download. And then you just give it a second and command was sent. Just give it a minute, it's pulling up the, the thing. And then it's up here, it's gonna it's gonna turn white and then it's gonna have it's gonna have your actual ROM file here. So what you wanna do is is you're gonna wanna click this and then it's gonna download right down here to your download. So the next thing you're gonna, uh, so the next thing you're gonna need to get, um, which I'll leave a link down in the description down below. Now they do have Polaris editor 1.7.5 out and I had some issues with it. So I didn't, I didn't like using the new one. I use one, one Polaris editor version back, which is the 1.7.4. So you'll want to click, uh, you know, download. And I already have this, but you're going to want to click download. And then when you download it, you can go to your, which you yeah, have already, I've already moved it to a file, but here, I'll just do it for you guys. You just click this, we'll click download. It'll say it's looking for viruses and, you know, other things like that. So then you're going to click your downloads right here. And if you have 7-zip, you can use 7-zip. If you have the regular Windows extractor, that's fine. You're gonna wanna right click, extract all. And then uh, I'm gonna move this to, you know, uh, where's my, where's the desktop? Here we go. And then I have this BIOS Hive OS. I'm just using this for the video purposes. So I'm gonna select that folder. I'm gonna extract all, and there it is. Now I'm also going to, get my my actual BIOS ROM and I'm gonna cut and I'm gonna move it to where my other one is in here and I'm gonna paste it. 
So now I have them both in the same area, so they're both exactly where they should be. So now, after you guys are done doing that, you guys, so here we're gonna have this. Now, you're gonna wanna go to the uh, Polaris Bio Editor, and now it's gonna it's gonna say, "Do you sure you want to run this?" Uh, you know, you know, Windows Defender. It's perfectly fine. So you're gonna click Run anyways. There's a newer version. Okay. And you wanna, uh, I'll just click yes. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so now we have, we're actually in our BIOS editor. So now we're gonna click open BIOS and we're going to go to our, our desktop here, our Hive OS. And this is, this one's already modded, but let's just, let's just say it wasn't. Okay, you'll open it up and you'll see you know, all the uh, all the attributes and everything like that. And these are all the memory timings. And all you have to do is you're going to click this, just like this, one-click time patching. And it'll say, do you want faster timing? And you click yes. Samsung memory was found. Now applying faster timings. Click OK. Yes. Click OK. Yes. All right. And... No, I'm not going to buy the pro version. So now that you've actually modded your your BIOS, you need to save it as a new BIOS. So you know, I would just put a uh, AMD, you know, RX 570, eight gig, uh, modded dot rom and you need to make sure that you put the, the dot rom in there so that way it actually saves it as a rom file so now you actually i'll even put i'll even add modded bios this way you know with that this bios is modded okay so we're gonna click save you're gonna close it out you're gonna come back to your farm and then you're gonna click You'll click flash and then you're going to you would choose your file and we're going to go back to our desktop here to have os and then we would click on our rx570 bios modded file and then you would pick what card you want to apply it to so we did gpu zero so we would do gpu zero and then we would click upload and then you'd obviously so then you would obviously hit upload, which I'm not going to do because mine is already BIOS modded. So you would do that for each one of your GPUs. So let's say you had six, you'd have to do it for each one. And then after you did it for each one, you would wanna you would wanna go to your power actions and and then click shut down and, and boot, and then do a whole fresh reboot of your system to um that way it could start all over. And then you will see the increased uh, hash rate, which here, I'm gonna start my miner again. So we'll start my AMD rig up. I had it off, so click restart miner. So then you will see an increased hash rate, and then you'll have to apply your, uh, your overclock settings and you know do your undervolting, and you should get something um, you should get somewhere around 28 to 29 mega hash. Um, so I will leave a, a link down in the description below for this Polaris editor. Um, this is a really easy way of doing your BIOS modding instead of doing it through Windows. And then you have to use DDU, remove the drivers, put a new card in, boot it up, do the BIOS mod, Shut it down, do DDU again, because every time that you do a new video card, you're gonna wanna use the DDU driver and do a fresh um, removal on your system, or else you'll have boot errors, you know, when you're booting up and stuff like that. So doing it through Windows is extremely difficult, and it's, I wanna say difficult, it's very time consuming. 
here you could just do all six of your gpus you just do one by one boom 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 apply the bios mod and then i mean you could get this done in about maybe 10 minutes or less so it's extremely fast um so i found this out later down the road but um this definitely helped me out getting my cards uh bios modded so now you can see if they're starting to ramp up now so all right guys i will leave once again i'll leave a link in the description below for the polaris bios editor if this video was helpful give it a thumbs up hit that like and subscribe button and i will see you next time